Hello there, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, I'm going to teach you how to draw a real classic. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw Popeye the Sailor. So come on, let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back. Like I said, we're going to draw Popeye the Sailor today, which seems a little obscure today but i haven't received one request i've received several requests lately you know what he's been a family favorite of ours for a long time so i'm more than happy to do this one let's get to this so as per usual we're going to start with a circle we're going to draw in our vertical access line and we're going to put in a horizontal access line okay I'm going to have Popeye facing this direction here that's why that line is over there we're going to throw in the basic construction of his face first so we have his basic head shape but then his jaw protrudes out forward so we're going to not only put his jaw out forward but we're going to give him that cleft chin that he has too. It is very prominent. And it goes in just like that. Okay. Now let me darken this in just in case. It's not showing up on camera, but I think it is. Okay. Now that we have that in, we'll throw in his nose, which is very lightly drawn at first and then I'm gonna go in a little darker so it's going to come in like this just like that now his eye shapes he has one beady oval eye I'm just gonna color that in right now and the other eye is squinted so what we're gonna do is we're going to go from here come over on this side and we're just gonna draw in his eye closed like that. And I always tackle his eyebrow right after I've closed his eye. So we're going to draw his eyebrow. It's a big S curve. And it's shaped like this. So now we're gonna put in his mouth shape. And I always start with uh, his actual mouth and I'm gonna have him smiling in this drawing now the mouth starts from underneath his nose and comes out here like a, a very uh, straightened S curve then if I'm gonna draw his mouth open it's always off to the side he squints and he kinda throws his mouth off to the side like that. I'm gonna give him some teeth like this and just the hint of his tongue. Okay, now that I've got his mouth shape in there, I'm gonna give him that laugh line shape just like so. Okay, now that I've got that in, I'm gonna put in his ear. Normally I throw in the ear first, but I wasn't paying attention to the ear at the moment. Okay, so we've got this rounded, almost completed circle. It's like a C shape. And then we're gonna draw in the inside of his ear like that. And then the inside of his ear like that. So you've got this curved T shape inside there. From there, I want to draw in his hat, but before I do that, I'm going to throw in his brim, which will cover some of his head shape. And let's finish off that shape just like this. I'm going to give him that brass button there on the side of the hat. Let me color that in there. Now he's a sailor. So Popeye has a very similar hat shape 
to another sailor we know very well, Donald Duck. They were created generally around the same time. Although I don't really have that info in front of me at the moment. Okay, so I've got his hat drawn in. And now I'm going to finish off the rest of this head shape. I am just going all over the place today. All right, so I've got one eyebrow down like that. I'm going to have the other one up. Okay, and then we're going to give him the brow shape to go into his head shape. Nice S curve, just like that. All right. Popeye is looking awfully happy right now. Now, one thing that we need to add to his head would be his corncob pipe. It's a very, very similar design to what Frosty has in his mouth in his cartoon special. So there we go. Please, don't smoke. Oh, and he also has two hairs that come out just like this, right in the center of his head. So you got one, and then the second one comes in and it's just shorter than the one above it. Now, Popeye's looking pretty happy here. Now well, let's give him his upper torso. So we've got the back of his neck here, we've got the front of his neck right in here. To give Popeye a little depth, they usually throw a little shadow in right underneath his head there. And to, th to draw in his torso, let's start with his shoulders here. Now his shoulders don't come out very wide. His upper body, his chest puffs out very, very slightly. When that comes right down, Just like so. And because he's a sailor, he's wearing a sailor uniform, right? We've got the opening of his collar, and then we've got the, the flap there that goes around the back. You'll have to excuse me, I don't know what that's called off the top of my head. He's got a stripe here. Okay, so, so far we've been drawing from memory. Of his arms folded, he's in a very proud pose. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna follow this reference right now. His arms are crossed in front of his chest. So let's just dive right on into that. So we've got his shoulder here and we're going to draw in his arm kind of like this. Now when I draw arms folded in front, I draw in a very quick um, rubber hose type um, quick sketch of where the arms should be um, positioned okay so uh, let's see his arms are out like this he's got this little knobby elbow here and uh, let's see same thing with this side um, you know what I don't like that angle I'm going to redraw that arm. I didn't quite like that angle. This is the time to make those adjustments before you bear down on that pencil. Okay, so usually what I do is I start off with kind of a, like a, a squared off shape, right? And that's very light because this is just a guide. Okay, so this arm will actually be folded up this way. Now, Popeye has these very, very bulbous forearms, right? So I'm gonna just draw in like an egg shape here. I'm gonna draw in a very light oval shape there. And now I know exactly where, now I know exactly where this arm is gonna go. So I'm gonna go back in and I'm going to give him that little fold there and just darken that in like that. 
darken in this like here, connect it like that, and then don't forget that knobby elbow. Okay. Now from here, I'm just going to give him his hand. And we're just looking at the, the very back of his hand here. Okay, so we're just gonna give the indication that his hand is wrapped around his other arm, just like so. All right, and now I'm gonna darken in the rest here. So we've got his elbow to his other arm here. And now, very lightly, again. All right, so his other forearm is going to be tucked in behind this one, but we'd still have to give enough space. Even though we're hiding it, we need to make sure that we're giving just enough space for that other arm. Yeah, so it'll go like this, okay. Now that I've got that kind of in there, now I'm going to draw in his other hand, which will be kind of draped over this arm. I hope I'm not confusing anybody. So from here, I'm just going to very lightly draw in a very curved rectangular shape, okay? And then I'm going to separate that shape with those big sausage-like fingers of his. Okay. Now his sleeves are rolled up. So we'll do that like that. Give a little fold on either side of his sleeve. Okay, now there's this one final detail. Popeye, he's got these tattoos of anchor shapes. So this one's upside down because his arm is facing upward. So we'll just do that, just like so. I feel like this needs some inking in, so let's speed up this camera. Now that we're done inking in the drawing, let's erase some of those stray lines with my kneaded eraser. You know what? I feel like doing some coloring today, so let's pull out the Copics. All right, so the color seems to be picking up a little bit of the outline, which is my fault. I grabbed the wrong marker when I was inking in the sketch. Uh, so I'm gonna very carefully try to go around the marker without picking it up. Even though I can clean this marker out just fine, I'd really rather not make a mess of the sketch. So let's just go from here and do our best to color around it. Now the colors should pop if we do this right. So let's grab a very light blue. We're gonna put in the base color for the hat first. 
and then we're going to go back in and we will throw in some uh, some shadow So we got the red in there. Now I decided to go, instead of going full black with this shirt, I thought I'd go with a dark gray. It's a, it's a nice warm gray, um, but it's, it's nice and dark. So we're gonna, we're gonna get, uh, get some good coverage with this. We've got a nice contrast with the forearms. So those arms will be pushed forward. that confusing shape underneath his hand you'll see is the rolled up sleeve we'll color that blue guys there's Popeye hope you enjoy drawing with me today if you did please give me the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends I've got some merchandise available on Teespring the link is in the description guys I want to thank you so much again for joining me today and um, we will see you later